Hey there, it's Two Tips in Two Minutes, part four. Parts one, two, and three, yes, you can still find them on the Charisma On Camera YouTube channel or at charismaoncamera.com so you can catch up. But if you've been doing the little two tip exercises that we've been giving you, then you know what? By now, you might be feeling a little bit better about getting in front of the camera. But I know there's always one thing that pops up for people. They say, I can't do video yet because it's too technical, it's too expensive. Well. My tips today are gonna to help you understand that you can do it right now, probably with the equipment that you have. Tip number one, have a setup ready to go. If you have a smartphone, an iPhone, anything that has a camera on it that you can manipulate easily, that's gonna work for you. If it's HD, fantastic. But my advice is start with that have it set in a place in your home that you know you can get to right away. Now, if you have the ability to have a camera and light set up all the time, then fantastic. Have that set up so that whenever you get motivation, you get an idea, you can hop out there and share it with your audience. That's awesome. In the meantime, there are three things that I want you to keep in mind, even if you're using a simple camera, that will help you create better quality videos. Number one, make sure your camera's not shaky. Get a tripod. Find some way that you can stabilize that camera. Shaky cameras look very amateur. Number two, make sure you're lit well. You can do that actually with some home lighting. I've got some extra tips for you on the special charisma practices uh, training, but you can do it with simple lights. If you want to buy expensive lights, you can too, but you can get a whole lighting kit for under $300. But make sure that we can see you. Make sure you're lit well. And then number three, make sure that we can hear you. Sound is huge. It has to be a good quality sound and we have to be able to understand what you're saying. Tip number two, realize that if you are going to hire a professional team to shoot you, consider them your collaborative partner. They're your production team. So don't take it lightly. Don't work with you know your, your best friend's cousin who happens to shoot video for weddings and he's gonna come and do something for you for free. Be careful of that. Realize that you know what you want this video to look like. You have a choice of whether you're gonna have a cameraman that is inputting creative ideas or if you're gonna come in with all of your own. Consider them a collaborative partner and spend time interviewing them and seeing the work that they've done. Be super comfortable with that. It's as if you're hiring your own production team because they can be working with you for many years. It's great once you build that relationship and you know that anytime you have an important message, a product launch, you can rely on your production team and you can create something of real quality. If you want to get any deeper with this or really get some more exercises and see some examples of how you can set up a studio in your home, charisma practices, insights, and to help you really create powerful personal presence on camera, you can find it at the home site, charismaoncamera.com. And I look forward to seeing what you can accomplish. I know that there's an impact in the world that you are designed to make and I wanna help you accomplish that.